Welcome back. Sorry about that. My camera just decided to die on me. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back in and finish up these tag questions. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, finish up this video for the day so I can go ahead and get it up and processed and such and hopefully we'll be able to have a better chance at recording later. So um, the last where we left off was what is your favorite thing to order on Uber Eats? I don't order on Uber Eats. I don't order takeout. If I'm going to eat out I will go and pick it up myself. Um, I just I've always preferred to do that. Um, I don't know why I don't do carry out or delivery. I always pick up my own food. So that's, that's just me. Um, number 11 says, have you moved from home? Where to, and how was the experience? Well, I answered that back before. Yes, I did move from home. I've lived in, I also lived in Virginia, but that was when I was married the first time. Um, so when I moved from home, I moved to Virginia with my ex-husband who was in the Navy. Um, when we got out of, when he got out of the Navy, we got out of our marriage a few months later. That's a story for another day. Um, but I lived in Ohio from then until I moved to California in 2000. Um, and then I've been in Texas, California, Texas, Utah, and Nevada. That was the experience. That's been an experience. There's a lot that's gone on. I do not miss my hometown. Not really. I only miss the weather. As far as the hometown goes, um, there's not a lot back there anymore. It's such a small town. Factories are going out of business. Jobs are scarce. Um, building lots of restaurants and department stores and gas stations and all that, but not a lot of work for you know anything else than that so no yeah. so it's been an experience that's how I can answer that have you ever failed at anything and what did you learn yeah I mean who hasn't failed at something everybody fails at something they're not we're not perfect no matter how hard we try um, we don't always succeed and you dust yourself off and you get back up and you try again. If you fail at that, at the, at the second attempt, you keep trying until you get it or you just come to the acceptance that, you know what, that's not for me and you move on to something else. So, yeah, you can be disappointed, but it's not worth beating yourself up over because we're all human and we're not perfect. So... To really answer, has there been some? I, I yeah, there's a lot of things that I failed at. Um, I failed at not being able to become a nurse, and that wasn't because of necessarily me. It was because I got hurt trying, you know, on the job taking care of a patient, and because of that, I couldn't be a nurse. Um, that's not my fault. That wasn't the patient's fault necessarily. It's something that happened, so I've moved on from it. Disappointed? Yes, but moved on from it. How many countries have you traveled to? One. I've been to Canada. That's it. Who is my celebrity crush? Johnny Depp. Since way back in the day of 21 Jump Street. Love Johnny Depp. What are my pet peeves? Um... I have a lot of pet peeves. A bed has to be made. I cannot stand an unmade bed. I cannot stand towels not folded the way that I fold them. I do the tri-fold, not the double fold. Um, I cannot stand clutter. It drives me up a wall. So right now my craft room is cluttered and I've got to make some organization out of it. Um, 
Yeah. That's, there's a long list, but those are the main ones. What do I do in my free time? Diamond paint. Right now, it's diamond paint. I am, I crochet too, but I haven't since I started diamond painting. Um, not much, at least. Um, but I do need to get back to it because I have blankets that I need to make. But I like to crochet. Um, I like to read a lot. Um, I actually have a book that I'm going to be I think I mentioned it in one of my previous videos that I need to sit down and actually start reading. Um, watch TV, Hulu, Netflix, YouTube videos. And that's about it. Do I have any weird quirks? No, not really. Not that I not that I consider weird. Someone else might consider them weird, but I don't. What is my favorite color? Um, teal. I like dark teal, like medium to dark teal. I also like sage and taupe. Um, Merlot, like a Merlot purplish red. Do I have any siblings? Yeah, I answered that. I have uh, one brother and then I have a brother and a stepsister. I mean, uh, I have one brother, and then I have a stepbrother and a stepsister. Uh, number 21, do you know your personality type? What is it? Um, no, I don't. I don't know what my personality type is. Have you been to any concerts or festivals? Which were the most memorable? Memorable, yes. Um, I have seen Metallica twice. Um, Seen them in oh, 92 and 95. No, sorry, 91 and 95. Um, I've seen Styx and Def Leppard with Foreigner three, uh, well, Styx three times, Def Leppard and Foreigner once. I've seen Blue Oyster Cult in Boston. And then I seen Metallica again in 2010. It was the last concert I've been to. Um, I've been to a lot of festivals. I mean, there's lots of festivals in California. I used to go all the time. Um, what was the most memorable memorable concert? Um, probably BOC Blue Oyster Cult. I had always wanted to see them. I love Blue Oyster Cult. And that was the second concert that me and my husband went to together. And since it was a quieter concert than the first one, or no, the first one actually, it, it'd be a toss up between the first one and the second one. First one was Def Leppard, Styx, and Foreigner. Second one was Blue Oyster Cult in Boston. And, you know, they're two different it's apples and oranges sell. They were both memorable. But they were the first time that I had seen either band or either either of the bands so What are your favorite values in friends? Hmm. I don't have a lot of friends. My friends are Facebook friends. That's about it. Um previous question on the last video, you'll know if you watch it. Um I lost a lot of faith in friends after what my best friend did with, you know, and my, my ex father, my kids. Um, so I've kind of got myself a little distant from trying to get close to anybody. Plus where I live, people don't want to be friends, but that's just kind of like the world these days. When I grew up, I watched my parents have company over or we'd go to people's houses. The adults would hang out together, play cards, watch TV, sit in the kitchen and talk. And the kids would play. Well, we are now in a day and age where everybody sits on the internet and video chats with each other or texts with one another. So trying, and out here, nobody wants to be friends out in where I live. If you're not out, you know, clubbing or day spying or shopping or gambling, you don't make friends. So, um, like I said, I'm an introvert. I am very much to myself. So, 
um, if I still, if, if I were to have a friend that I could, you know, call a friend, it would be trust and loyalty are my biggest things. You know, I have to be able to trust my friends and I need my friends to be loyal. So what is one thing you wish people knew about you? Um, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm strong. I mean, I've been through a lot in my life and, you know, I have no excuses. Um, what happened in my life has only made me stronger. I don't blame anybody for anything that has happened in my life. I made the choices. I live with the outcome. But, no, I'm strong. I can't be kept down. Knock me down, I come back ten times stronger. So, my strength is what I wish people knew about me. What social media are you addicted to? Um, I don't, I'm not addicted to any social media. Um, I choose to come on it, not that I have to have it, but, you know, I can, I make the choice to get on every day. It's not like I jones for it. That's the first thing I have to do when I wake up. If I have other things that need to be taken care of first, then I take care of other things. I'm not addicted to any social media. I make the choice to get on Facebook, to get on Instagram, to get on YouTube. Those are choices that I make. Um, but Facebook and YouTube, I am on more than anything because that is how I'm able to see the videos and connect with people that I do talk to on Facebook. So. How do you get along with your family? Um, okay. Um, there's not much of my family left. My father's passed away. My grandmother and grandfather have passed away on both sides. Well, my grandmother on my dad's side, she's, um, got Alzheimer's. She's 98 years old. Um, she's on hospice. So, um, she hasn't known who I've, she doesn't know who I have been in five years. So, um, I have an uncle but pretty much my family's, um, they've either all passed away or they're out of state in a way. But I talk to my mom daily, multiple times. Um, I talk to my children. Well, my two oldest daughters I talk to. I, my oldest daughter I talk to once or twice a week. My second daughter I talk to almost daily. My third daughter, um, she doesn't talk to anybody in the family. She's taken off and doing her own thing. And yeah, she has it in her head that she doesn't need anybody but her friends. So we'll see how well that goes later on in life. Um, yeah, I, I get along with my family. Um, what is the biggest struggle I have overcome? Um... Yeah, uh, that's that's for another conversation as far as the biggest struggle. But um, back surgery and neck surgery, those those were the biggest, biggest, biggest. Yeah. Um, but I'll go into that another time. We'll talk about my surgeries. Um, Who is my role model? My grandmother. My grandmother was my role model. Um, and she passed away five years ago this past January 6th. She taught me how to crochet. She taught me how to cook. She taught me values of family and children and being a wife and a mother. Yeah. 
My grandmother was the best. 29. You're going out with friends. Describe your night. In the perfect world that I actually had friends that I hung out with, um, my perfect friends night would be actually sitting at home and diamond painting or crocheting while having a movie night and, you know, making up some appetizers or, you know, little snacks and just hanging out and, and crafting, doing something that we enjoy doing or maybe having a book club and reading a book and discussing it. Just doesn't have to be out. I don't need to be out, out and about. I'm perfectly fine, like I said, at home. What are you happiest with in your life? My husband and my son. And then we'll talk about my son. Um, and we'll talk, you know, more about. If you've watched my live, what my last live, you'll know how me and my husband met. But we'll go into that at a later time too. So until next time, I've answered all of the questions. Again, I'm sorry for the first video just stopping abruptly. I've got to figure out how to get this thing to either record longer or find out what caused this to just stop. But again, I'm working on this Ice Princess from Diamond Art Club for the collab that two other YouTubers are doing. I will link their channels in my description. My Instagram, Facebook, and email will also be linked in the description box if you need to reach out to me. If there's anything that you would like to see on my channel, please leave that down in the comments. If you have any questions or anything, also leave those in the comments and I will answer those questions the best that I can. Look forward to a Diamond Art Club unboxing this week and I will be unboxing it and kitting it up hopefully in the same video. Um, this is one that I'm going to be doing um, a whip and chat with. At least for sure I'll be unboxing it. The kitting up I might hold off on and do a nice separate video with that. Um, I do have two AliExpress um, paintings that I am waiting to come to me. It's supposed to be here between the 17th and the 27th, I think. So those will be unboxings. And they are biggins. They're big paintings. Um, I will have another whip and chat this week. And on Tuesday, I will have my live from 7 a.m. Pacific time till 9 p.m. Pacific time. I generally do that with Ash, um, Crafting with Ash Ink or Diamond Painting with Ash Ink, but 93, but she will not be um, doing videos with me right now. Um, so that it'll just be me on the live. So I look forward to seeing you all there. If you like these videos today I put up, please give me a thumbs up. I apologize again for the split in the videos. Please subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos. I'm hoping to get more of a schedule coming uh, up the pipe here over the next few weeks and please share my videos uh, my channel I am planning on having a giveaway once I reach a hundred subscribers once I reach that hundred just subscribers then I will discuss the giveaway or the detail giveaways the giveaway details excuse me but until then I'm gonna go ahead and get off here and go take care of some stuff and spend some time with my family. I will look forward to seeing you all soon. You have a wonderful Saturday and wonderful remaining part of your weekend. Till then, take care. Thank you. Bye, guys.